So, I mean, you two have this hard, horrendous, horrible thing to have to spend time with a shirtless Daniel Craig. Tell me how you suffered through it, please. Horrible, damn. Mm, how did we suffer? It I was. Know. We deserve a lot of sympathy. We really do. Yeah. But and I'm sure we're going to get really, it as well from yeah, all those yeah. women out there who is fans. We would be ready to do it again just because we are real professionals, mm. you know, but what it was. <laughs> all right, in all honesty, what's he like as an actor to work with? I mean, he's a man at the top of his game, really. You know, he's fantastic and he's really, really committed as well. So he'll do like a 14 or 16 hour day and then go out and train for two hours afterwards. So he's incredibly dedicated to this character and an amazing actor. An amazing sense of humor, uh, mm -hmm. most of all. So, so that is uh, absolutely ideal conditions to, to work because you just feel so relaxed and, and at home. Um, this is probably one of the most stylized Bond films, I mean, beautifully shot. Can you talk about working with Sam Mendes and his director of photographer, Roger Deakins? Uh, yeah, it was amazing working with Sam um, because he comes from uh, this indie background. He doesn't necessarily do um, these kind of big action movies and so he brought that same kind of sensitive sensibility to this film and so the real focus was on the performances and the relationships and so it made it not an intimidating experience at all and Norda Deacon is an incredibly gentle soul um, and uh, very unobtrusive and so that was really great as well because you never felt really aware of his presence he didn't kind of dominate the whole thing which was lovely. And I was truly surprised when I th saw the movie. It, it's the the the, um, the aesthetic, um, the light is unreal, and, and that makes that you feel that is it's it is a real story, uh, but also you you feel like you are in a dream because it's so the images are so powerful, and he did an amazing job. Um, the scene in the casino, you two are absolutely beautiful, you're dressed the nines, the scene is so beautifully played out. But as a movie watcher and a fan, can you explain to people like how difficult it is to do that? Like, What was the hardest thing about filming that scene for you two? Difficult? I didn't think that was a difficult <laughs> scene at all. That was like a really fun scene. No, that was great. I mean, it was like ultimate uh, Bond scene, you know, with beautiful women, men in tuxes, a gorgeous set. I absolutely loved that. Yeah. For me, it was uh, an amazing experience because, for, first of all, the set for the casino is uh, unbelievable. And, and I, I could feel after a few hours that I was in a real place full of history, an old place, which was really strange. And um, yes, getting to interact. For me, it was a, a mythical scene. When I think about James Bond movies, I think about casinos, a dangerous kind of animal woman coming, you know, and it was uh, it was uh, very intense and fantastic to get to film this this scene. All right, that kind of leads into my my last question. You know, when you're filming a film, it takes a long time. What was your your favorite day on set in shooting Skyfall? My favorite day on set, um, I loved shooting the shaving scene because it was really intimate. <laughs> it was just me and Daniel, and um, we spent a whole day doing it. Um, and it, I just love working with him, so it was a really, really great day. I have a favorite scene, but I won't, I won't say it. <laughs> People will have to guess. <laughs> <Good stuff. laughs>